It's a building which now ranks alongside the Houses of Parliament and Westminster Abbey for its historic value. And the Great Barn of Harmonsworth, built in 1426 to store grain, has stood the test of time. It is quite an amazing building to look at, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, look at the size of it. It's, it's huge. Um, it's the largest timber frame barn in England, and it must be one of the largest barns in Europe. But it's not just its sheer size that makes this barn so special. Step inside and you can appreciate why Betjeman compared this building oh, wow. to a cathedral. Well, that's what everybody says when they come in here. It's, um, it's a truly amazing space. The way it's constructed is a little bit like a cathedral. You've got a central nave, you've got two aisles, you've got this wonderful soaring roof. It gives you the feeling of a cathedral, but in timber. And with 13 huge oak trusses resting on stone blocks to support the roof, you can even find the original marks left by the stonemasons. Ah, here we go, yeah. Um, you can see that symbol there. Uh -huh. that would have been, that's a mason's mark. Um, that showed who had cut the stone, um, and that was used to make sure that that person was paid properly for the work he'd done. The barn now stands on the northern fringes of Heathrow Airport. You can hear the roar of the M4 motorway. This was once some of the most prized agricultural land in Britain. Now much of it lost to the urban sprawl of London. And over the years, the barn has survived civil war, plague, agricultural reform, and even a flying bomb which landed nearby. So the barn really has managed to shake off everything that the centuries could throw at it. Indeed, and it's still here. I mean, the most recent adventure it had, you could say, was because of the proposed third runway at Heathrow, because that would have come just yards from its northern end. And, you know, the plane's landing maybe would have shaken it to pieces. You never know. But thank goodness that threat has gone away, for the moment at least. The plan now is to open the barn to the public and as it's listed for protection, it's hoped it will stand strong for many more centuries to come. Nick Thatcher, London Tonight, Harmonsworth.